Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I am going to show you guys something that I haven't pulled out in a long time and a lot of people ask me about this baby. Um, I have taken this baby apart um, and she's still not apart so if you can't stand to see the dolls apart then maybe you don't want to watch but I am going to show her um, <laughs> and I'll tell you what happened to her in a minute but I do want to first say if you <clears throat> if you want go ahead and hit the subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below now also, if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, the link is in the description bar. It is the dollar and ninety-nine cents to join, and um, that is for exclusive videos or exclusive live streams. At least exclusive live streams once a month. Um, occasionally, I do drop videos in there as well. But <clears throat> let me introduce these two babies. Of course, everybody knows um, Lauren is the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and then uh, Taraji is the Mealy Sculpt by Ping Lao. So, um, I did not really have no inspiration for Lauren, but I was, um, I did use my real daughter, um, as an inspiration for Taraji. So, um, the only sentimental value to Lauren is the timing of which I, like, zoned off from everybody and shut down and all I could do was actually work on her. Um, just through a difficult time. But anyway, so I've been having these little conversations here and there. And, and, da, 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 da. and um, for those that may not have followed me from the beginning, I started this channel in 2013. I think um, in the beginning, I had an episode and I deleted a lot of videos but I didn't delete all of them. So I think my very first box opening is actually still up on this uh, channel. So if you click oldest video, um, you will be able to see my oldest videos. You know, you could go to the, the most popular videos, et cetera, et cetera. And I do that on channels a lot of times, like if I want to see like the history of someone. Um, but the... I started painting because, I don't know, I just felt like maybe I could just paint my own because I was buying so many kits and stuff like that. And I started and then I stopped because I, and then I did a baby that I thought was really nice, but I don't know when she came back from being varnished, it just, she, I don't know, seemed like, not varnished, she was varnished when she came back from being rooted, I meant to say, looked as if she, her varnish had changed on her a little bit. But I don't know. But I'm going to show you something. Now her hair used to be black. And many of you guys know her. Um, as Fat Mama. And she had a pretty decent presence on this channel. But I'm going to show you guys what... I don't know if her work looked... Yeah, it, it did, I, I guess. But she has some really expensive eyes on her head. But they are... I think sealed in well the glue is starting to lift now so I might can get those eyes out but I've already take I like I start taking her waiting I took her stuffing out a couple times like if I ran out of polyphyl I'll just go to her but this was fat mama and this was my painting early on look at this this hair this is what happened when you use like a cheaper mohair so the hair is really soft. It's really soft. And probably if I wet it, it will probably curl up and everything. But the color, this was a lady off of eBay that I bought this hair from. I was buying hair from her. But the color just turned almost like gray. Like, look. But it was real cheap hair. And, you know, you'd be so happy. You can get a whole ounce for like $20 or so. But that's what happened when you, you know. And I sent her off to be rooted. I paid for her to be rooted. Um, and the rooting wasn't that bad or anything. Like, it's not that. It's just, it's the hair itself. And then, like I said, look. 
I don't know. Let me see if I can turn the camera on just her. Like, it might not look as bad on camera, but it's it's horrible. Um, her face is. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like her varnish changed when she came back, and I I didn't even really recognize her because I was like, what happened? So I don't know. I think, I, yeah. Anyway. Um, so she's horrible, but her, in her coloring, it, it wasn't too bad, but it, it wasn't great. I'm just looking at it, I'm like, ugh. So anyway, I think these eyes are like $60 eyes. I want them eyes. <laughs> so that is her head. And then this is her body. So as you can see, she was dressed at one point. I don't I, like. I loved her hands. I don't think her. I think I did okay with her hands. Let me show you the rest of her body. Then you'll see why I said the varnish on her face was totally different from the rest of her body. Because the varnish on the rest of her body was not bad at all. Which is why I. I don't know. I don't know if. I don't know what happened. But like this is her her hands and this was like many many years ago. This like her color was was nice. Not so bad. Um I don't know what the heck I thought I was doing. Maybe I was trying to do some type of modeling, but it looked like she got mosquito bites instead. Like, I don't know. Wait, let me see if y'all can see that. Like, hang on. Let me see. I don't know. Like, it's... Let me see. I don't know how to get it to show. But, like, it's... You see, like, the red specks on her? Like, <laughs> I guess that was my motley girl and like I said the bottom of the feet wasn't too bad but they that that wasn't it sis um so I don't know nails was left pretty undone in my opinion um but yeah so it, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest but she was fat mama and she had her role and I may, I'm, I'm going to probably still put her little head together and stuff. And, um, maybe I'll, I'll dress up, fix her hair up and, and, you know, bring her back on for you guys to see. But I like babies like that. People be like, Oh, can't you just touch them up? I could literally, since she has no weight in her, her limbs or anything anymore, I could take her apart and I could paint her limbs over and probably, you know, paint over her limbs and really bring this kit to life. Um, but I can't do nothing with this face. I, I don't think this face gonna work. I guess I could try to like, but then you have to bake it with the hair and I don't really like do that much baking with the hair. I could revamp it, but I'm not. I mean, that's too much work. It's not even worth it for me. So, yeah, so basically, I show you guys that because I'm like, you know, we we got to start somewhere. Um, and um, some people start out instantly great. You know, maybe they've been doing art all their life. Maybe they, um, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they just have that pure gift and they just start out amazing. But most people don't start out being just perfect. So this is, this is uh, like, so now we're, we're into a whole nother ball game. Um, so I don't know, hand pukaruka, <laughs> eat your cuddles. This baby instantly falls into cuddles. Look at her little feet, her little feet. She instantly falls into like a cuddle position 
when you hold her. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Um, I'm like so sad that she's getting ready to go. Like I don't want to let her go. But um, I was doing, uh, me and Taraji sat and watched TV the other day and she sat on my lap and I was doing her hair while we was watching um, a movie and um, I got her hair done. I don't do hair often. Um, if you ever see like clips of me and Gabby live, her hair is like in ponytails or something. And I don't do a good job and I suck at that. And if that makes me a bad mama, so be it. But um, I decided that this year I'm just going to, you know, um, I've been avoiding. I used to send Gabby to go get her hair done. But when the pandemic started, I stopped sending her out to get her hair done because I didn't want her to get sick or anything like that. But I think um, I said this year I'm gonna just start just send her to my hair my hairstylist and just start um, just getting her hair done professionally again. Um, probably just you know definitely kid friendly styles like her hair braided up and stuff like that. Um, just so I can she can look cute. But I don't I don't do hair that often. Um, that's why, like, you see Taraji, she'll have her hair done, and then it just stay that way for, like, ever. I love this baby feet. I, and when I say I love her feet, I love the way that the painting turned out on her feet as well. I think the camera never really fully do the baby's justice. Um, well, um, a lot of my babies, I, I feel like I don't capture them all the same but it's okay but she um definitely 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 I can't wait to see her with hair I think that's gonna really what's gonna really bring her out but I hate to send her I do I hate it um I, f I feel like I feel like she's gonna be gone for a very long time and I don't I don't I I I I don't know like it's like I'm just struggling with the idea of her being gone for weeks, you know? Like it's different if she was just gonna be gone for a few days, but I know instantly she's gonna be gone for so long. So I don't know, I just don't wanna I just don't wanna I don't wanna see her go. I, 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 you know, we have babies that we like, we love and we love to like dress. And then we have the babies that we love to hold. And then we have the babies that we love to look at. Well, for me. And, um, Lauren is kind of like both. Like, I like to look at her. I like to put her on clothes. And I like to hold her. So, um... It's like who who's gonna take her spot while she's gone? She is um ugh, come on mama because this this is not working out me trying to reach that far. Yeah, so she's just one of those babies that is like I think sometimes in the community we call them comfort babies. Those babies that like if you're having a bad day, that's the baby you gravitate towards, or if you know, like I say, if you want to hold a baby or whatever, that's the baby you hold. So I think that's what, why I'm just like, I don't want to let her go. Um, I spend some time with Vegas, but I'll be honest with y'all. I'm painting, the baby that I'm painting now, um, the silicone baby I'm painting now. I'm really, um, <laughs> listen, this going to sound so petty, but I'm really getting jealous of that baby because I know he's going to leave me and I really feel like the kind of, he's kind of turning out the, the way that I kind of was wanting to go, go with, um, with Vegas. So I'm pretty sure, oh, that's too big, but I'm pretty sure uh, 
Vegas is going to get some more color um, and some, some more paint in him. Not color, but just there's going to be some little changes that I'm going to probably make on Vegas when I get ready to finish matting him and stuff. That's just how it goes. So he'll be, once I get, um, usually what I do is I try to, when I get ready to do touch-ups on another baby, I try to wait till I'm getting ready to mat one. Then that way I'll, um, I'll put, I'll wash Vegas up and prep him to go back on the table towards the end of painting the other baby. But yeah, so, yeah, so there's Miss Taraji. We had good TV time, didn't we, Mama? Huh? A little self. Um, just a lot, a lot of stuff, um, goes into making these babies. And I think we, um, we overlooked that a lot. But anyway, I'm not going to make this video long. I will see you guys later. But, um, I just wanted to show you guys that I feel like I've came a long way with my painting. I still have more ways to go. I can learn a lot more. But I just wanted to show how it was in the beginning. Later, Gator.